there was this concern that we were going to have to change our history to grow, and, and people didn't want that. They wanted to grow, but they also wanted to retain the history of the university. And so the Double T is very much part of that. Well, the Double T has actually changed multiple times over the years. The early days, of course, it was sort of a curved edge. And then um, it turns into more of a straight square edge. And, and it's also particularly used for athletics. So in the, the 20s and 30s, it's on their clothing. And not so much on other places, but like when we have the, the first gymnasium, uh, that there's a massive double T that's painted on that as well. So then they start putting it on buildings and other areas like that. In the 1950s, uh, in fact, 1950, Texas Tech um, moves to copyright the double T. And during that decade, the um, university is growing by leaps and bounds. And so there is a lot of discussion about changing our name from Texas Technological College to either Texas Tech University or Texas State University. And many of the alumni and, and those tied to athletics want to keep it as Texas Tech University. A lot of the faculty wanted to change it to Texas State University uh, because there's sort of a um, an issue with the term tech and technological that it doesn't necessarily incorporate the arts and other areas of um, education. And so between the 50s up until the late 1960s, there's a lot of demonstrations, there's a lot of articles and editorials being written that we needed to change our name. There are a lot of names put forth. Uh, it, it became a bloody fight that uh, and people did not you know get over it for a long long time unfortunately i ran i leaned the wrong way <laughs> i was student government president we had a referendum on it and the students overwhelmingly favored texas state university because they they felt like that's what we were and uh, we were a little short-sighted i'd have to say so there were protests all over campus signs bumper stickers everything for either direction but I think the double T was a major part of the tipping point towards Texas Tech University. The Ex-Students Association, now the Alumni Association, fought pretty hard to keep the double T. They felt like that was the most recognizable you know, symbol. The question is, how do you keep the double T you know, and change the name? We, of course, at that time, had it all over this campus. It was, it was on the gym, it was on the uh, bench. The neon sign was still there, even though, you know, every time they made changes to Jones Stadium, that was still on there during that time period. It took 10 years almost to get it finally settled. And, uh, the, and the administration and the Board of Regents petitioned the legislature for Texas Tech University. Now, there's not a period so that doesn't, it doesn't stand for technological, it just stands for tech. <laughs> it's kind of like we invented a word. In hindsight, when you look back, that was the right decision because without, it, without question, the double T is the most recognizable thing about Texas Tech that's recognizable almost anywhere.